There's two things we're going to need to do before we put together the movement and that is on this particular clock we're going to need to have to tighten these clicks because the click on this is very loose and when you're tightening or excuse me when you're winding the clock it could very possibly jump the ratchet here and then the spring would very quickly unwind and break parts in your clock. Uh, you don't want to have a click that's real tight but you don't want to have it have this much play that it could actually jump the ratchet. So we're going to do that and then after that we're going to reinstall the springs onto the first wheel or the great wheel. And once we've done those two things then we can assemble the entire clock and see how it looks at that point. Okay. On this next adjust adjustment we're going to uh, tighten the click rivet uh, so the click will be more tight. Now let me give you a close up of what we're going to be doing here. See right here you can see the little black rivet right there. That's going to be pressed against the vise so that on the other side the back side of the rivet will pop up. Let me see if I can get a good angle on this so you can see this. If I push on it you can see it popping up up on top. So in order to do that we need our vise and we need a flat punch and the other thing that we need is our hammer. So what you want to do is put the wheel on the corner of the vise. You don't want to have it resting on the ratchet underneath. Okay? You just want it to have it resting on the click part. So basically it's going to sit right there on the corner like so. Put our punch on the top, right dead center, because we're going to flatten it so that it gives a tighter fit. And give it a good whack. Uh, let's see if we did it. Uh, nope, got to do it again. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get it. See if we got it that time. Uh, a little bit better. I'm going to try just a little bit larger punch. See how that works. I think I got a good hit on that. Yeah, it's a little bit, that's getting better. Do one more. Yeah, there you go. It's getting much better. Uh, let me zoom in on this so you can see. It's not exactly tight. It's a little bit tighter so that when we engage the click, let's see here, get the camera to focus here, engage the click back into its onto the ratchet and connect the spring behind it now as we wind, see how nicely that fits right in there and it's not loose? It's pretty sturdy in there. And there's not, and you should have a little bit of shake, end shake, a little bit of movement there. Because you don't want it to be, too, you want it to be tight, well not tight, but you want it to be able to flow smoothly like so. But not so loose as to it might jump off the ratchet. Okay, so next, We'll install the, the springs, the main springs.